Okay, first thing, go into Maps, Corona Maps, find Corona Data, change the mode to Dot Product Shading, connect that to the Diffuse, and you can see it kind of uh, shades the edges a little bit. Let's make that pop a little bit more. Let's add a Color Correct, drop that in here, turn the contrast to 100. And we can use the brightness to control the size of the edges. We'll leave that at zero for right now. And then now we're going to want to add a two-tone type of an effect. So we can do that with just a general falloff. Uh, so in your falloff, we're going to want to swap these two channels up here. So we have the white on the top and the black down there. We're also going to want to add two points into your mix curve. And leave that for now. Let's go ahead and add another map, a Corona mix map. And then let's move our Corona data map to the top, our fall off to the bottom. And in the Corona mix, we're going to change our mix operation from add to multiply. Okay, throw that into our diffuse now. Take a look at what we get. Okay, go back to our fall off. Let's play around with the mix curve values here and to get that two-tone type of effect we're going to want to shape something like this. I'm going to do a square off or a rectangle off to the bottom right and uh, you can move this down to get a, a lighter effect and you can move it uh, left and right to, um, to move it in and out. So we'll leave it there for right now. To get a diffuse color we'll use this top channel on the fall off here, throw in a color, something pretty like that, and so we're, we've got something like that, which is looking pretty good. Um, we're probably going to want to add some reflective qualities to, may or may not want to do that. Um, find a level of 0.5, works well, um, figure out a glossiness that's going to work for the material that you're after. Uh, the only issue we have right now is the reflection is being applied to our outline edges, which you may or may not want, but it's kind of washing them out, and so we can adjust that a little bit too. So let's um, just make a copy of our fall off here. Uh, change our color back to white. And then we'll plug this into reflection color. And then we can play with our mix curve a little bit more to adjust how much uh, reflection we want on our edges. We can pull that up and that basically removes them. You can leave a little bit on there, uh, depending on what type of material you're after. And that is basically it. Alright guys, have a great day.